The liver sits in the right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity, resting just below the diaphragm to the right of the stomach, overlying the gallbladder. The average adult human liver weighs around 1.5 kilograms, making it the largest of our internal organs. Based on external appearances, the liver has a right and left lobe. This separation, however, does not correlate with the blood supply or biliary drainage. A functional anatomy based on the blood vessels and bile ducts, the Kuinor classification, divides the liver into eight segments, made up of segments one to four in the left lobe and five to eight in the right lobe. Unlike other organs which receive their blood supply from arteries, approximately 70% of the liver's blood supply comes from the venous system, while 30% comes from the arterial system. The main venous supply comes from the portal vein, which supplies nutrient-rich but oxygen-poor blood drained from the gastrointestinal tract, pancreas and spleen. The main arterial blood supply comes from a branch of the aorta known as the hepatic artery, which delivers oxygen-rich blood. Blood from the liver drains into the hepatic vein, which empties into the inferior vena cava. There's also a complex system of bile ducts, known as the biliary tree, which drain bile into the common bile duct and gallbladder. The basic functional unit of the liver is called the lobule. It's a hexagonal structure one to two millimetres in diameter, which is made up of hepatocytes organised around a central vein, which drains blood from the liver. At each corner of the hexagonal lobule, there's a portal triad. This is made up of a portal venule supplying blood and nutrients from the portal system, a hepatic arteriole supplying oxygenated blood from the arterial system, and a bile caniculus which drains bile into the bile duct.